We found our search quite challenging. What we have come up with one. Is described as a gentleman. She's a little bit shy at times. We found you a pug. In a quiet corner of the English countryside, there's a place for those looking for love. Welcome to a green. Hi, give me a dog. Where staff are dedicated to matching abandoned dogs. He's just got no trust in humans at the minute. With hopeful new owners. I'm a bit nervous. My heart is racing. I'm like, <laughs> some people have a desperate need and they are reaching out to you to help them. Just having a dog, they can instantly bring me some peace. Oh, bless you. you need to find your new housemate. Yeah, preferably a dog and not a fella. <laughs> <laughs> Last summer, we installed fixed rate cameras, extra support staff, and a secluded meeting pen. Oh my god. To see how lives can be changed <gasps> by the perfect match. <laughs> oh, hey guys. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no. It's the best feeling ever watching people fall in love. Oh, just a little bit. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> <strong. laughs> it's still the first date. There's gonna be awkwardness. <laughs> It's going to be another busy day today in here, Delilah. I hope you're ready. perfect match we'll have to get used to seeing double all right i'm ready even her identical twin shola has trouble knowing who is who i generally think that when we were babies they didn't know so they just went with it, it. Could happen. i could be jasmine for all we know she could be shola how are we today i'm good, good. excited are you <laughs> twins yeah in school i was more the like brainy one and she was more like the activity one so i sat her english test and she went to my pe lesson and the teachers had no, no idea clue. should you be saying all this <laughs> we're not in school anymore <laughs> who's the oldest me 14 minutes but she she you get one one at a time there we go a group of dogs have been handed in by a struggling local breeder. Among them is one poodle, Jim. Hey, Jim. You're very friendly. No. No babies. Good oh boy. We had 14 Cocker Spaniels. Wow, okay. Um, and a few different poodles. Oh, okay. Very rarely would we get more than a pair of dogs come in. Jim, can you behave? Come on, come on, mate. Occasionally you get a trio. You don't very often get four, five, six dogs coming in at once. There's a few that needed um, some sort of veterinary help with, with the hair loss and things. Right, OK. Um, okay I think I'm he realised that with all of them it was just getting a bit too, okay. too much. If someone does have a large amount of dogs, I think sometimes it's easy to get carried away. What's the difference in having a fifth? What's the difference in having a sixth? I think it's very easy to until you've got quite an unmanageable amount of dogs. In terms of their prior living, do we think they've not really lived in a house before? No, they all live outside in kennels. Yeah, we'll be interested to see if they you know, know how to play with toys, if yeah. they know how to do it, interact with dogs in any other way other than this, Jim. <laughs> if you're trying to give each dog what it needs, so the amount of exercise, the amount of social contact, the amount of mental stimulation, you're never going to be able to do that. And I think, actually, that's not a very nice environment for the dogs. It's a bit strange coming here, isn't it? I know, I know. So, I guess the first question is, who's the dog for kind of thing? It's for me, it's a replacement of her, and it will live with us. These are my grandchildren. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Shola's going off to uni, so um, Jasmine wants to replace Shola with her forever dog. <laughs> We're more than sisters, we're one. We're one person. When people first meet us, they ask, 
Are you telepathic? <laughs> yes, we're telepathic. We're super yeah. humans. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys spent much time apart? The, the longest we've done is two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Really? And that was like that was well. like years ago. They've done everything always together. But they have both gone completely different ways now. Shola is the first person in our family to ever go off to uni. And she's studying law. So it's a big thing and I think it's going to hit them both quite hard. What kind of dog do you imagine having? It, having like, I don't know. What do you want to do with it? Uh, I just like a really uh, a small dog or a really large dog. So, have, as a family, have you owned dogs before? My son has got a um, rescue dog. Joe, my um, youngest grandson, who's two. Oh, right. Slap, maybe? Yeah, she's very, very nervous. Does he bring her to visit yes, you? Yes, she comes to visit. OK, I think, I think it's time to go and have a look. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Long, Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. So, they have a visiting two-year-old grandchild and they have a visiting, nervous, large, maybe German shepherd cross type. I've already ordered a bed. And I ordered a lead, but if the lead is too small, I'm going to give it to Dad because Dad's got a puppy. Hasn't Watson been here for ages? No? Yeah, I think he's been here since um, beginning of the year, I would have thought. Oh, yeah, we're scared of the male owner. When is Dad getting his puppy? Exactly. <gasps> what's, the, what's the beagle's name? Oh, Zoe. What's he getting? A beagle. Everyone loves a beagle. Beagles yeah. are so popular. When I look at beagles, I look at that, like, dog versus cat movie as a kid. You know what I'm talking about? No. Yeah, just coming up to four. So that's a lovely age as well, isn't it? So it's like a beagle, and they've got glasses, and it's a spy, and the cat's trying to take over. But she's good with children, and she's good with other dogs, isn't she? So, slightly overweight, though. <laughs> we'll try to steal food. <laughs> I can see the cat now. It's a big, fat, white cat. Yes, yes. And then the two Persian cats were its sidekicks. Let's go do it. Do it. To put a stop to any puppies, Jim the Poodle is to be separated from the girls in his group. Come on, this way. This way. I oh, know oh, it's a bit scary. Come on. It's the first time he'll have ever been alone. Come on, Jim. When you first bring a dog into the kennel environment, you can see that they're sort of smelling, they're looking, they can hear all these dogs barking, and that's quite unfamiliar territory for them, and they have to take their time to suss it out and figure out what's going on here, you know? And I think for some dogs, it's quite scary to come here. Good boy. No, it's OK. They're just really overwhelmed by all the sounds and noises that are coming in, and you can't tell the dog why they're here. Right, I'm going to leave you in here now, Jim. Meet yourself at home. You've got a nice, nice comfy bed. But in the long run, if that dog finds that forever home that the dog really, really needs, is going to be worth it. And now the beagle was... Did he have a little hat on, the beagle? No. OK. Hello! Hey. hey! Right, OK, so we've been trawling through and we've come up with one which I think is, is a good fit. How do you feel about beagles? Oh, my God. I generally feel like you need to take it seriously. I'm psychic. Yeah, OK. <laughs> Her name's Zoe. That's really cute. Yeah. yeah. Good with kids. She has one issue. At the moment, she's a little bit on the chubby side. She, she needs to get a waistline yeah. back. I kept giving in to her appealing eyes. OK. She's got cute eyes, that's good. Do I take it that you would like to meet her? Oh, I really my do. gosh, yes. OK. All right, then. Yeah. Follow me, guys. Oh. Do you want to go first? I'm a bit nervous. I'll go first. <laughs> oh. What are you doing? I come in. This is Zoe. Well done. She was handed in just because her owners were working longer hours and one of their children was quite sick. So they very regrettably had to bring her in. Zoe, come on, good girl. Zoe's quite chubby at the moment. She does really need to lose some weight. It can be a little bit off-putting for people. We really need some owners that are willing to look past that to see the beautiful dog that she really is. Shola, come sit next to me. Oh, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> 
down. Shai just sat me down. It was very casual. And she goes, um, by the way, <laughs> by the way, I'm going to university. And I said, okay. She goes, it's in Birmingham. And I go, so what? <laughs> do you want to play catch? No, do you want to play? No, catch. <laughs> As it's gone on, it's getting realer and realer. She's going in a couple of weeks. <laughs> I'm proud that she, she has done what she wanted to do. I've never met someone so smart. <laughs> but I, I'm scared that things are going to change. I'm scared that she might find someone, a new best friend to replace me. She won't tell me things. Hmm. I've always had someone with me, like, sleeping next to, waking up with... Well, then this way. There you go. But with a dog, I won't be on my own. Six priest Father Miles is praying for the perfect dog. Oh, exciting. Very exciting. This is a really nice sofa. Where did you get it from? Hiya. Hiya. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Wood Green. Thank you. I'm Miles Pateman. I'm hoping to adopt a dog. Probably quite happily stretch out and isn't having that, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you what your job is. Um, I think it's pretty obvious. Yeah. I've not just come from a fancy dress party. <laughs> How are you feeling? Yeah, all right, nervous, excited. What are you nervous about? What's the dog like me? Why would it not? Will the dog like me? Will the dog not like me? What if the dog doesn't like me? Well, I mean, I've only just met you, and I think, <laughs> I think you seem all right, so... <laughs> all right, small doses, I'm all right, yeah. I'm kind of thinking... How do I make the best impression on the dog? Should I sniff their bottom? Probably not. Certainly not in clericals. That would be weird. Um, Can it come to work for you or not? Yeah. Reckon you'll get it a little... Um, Tiny little dog collar. I've never seen it before. Maybe I could invent it. Clerical dog leaf, yeah. Good girl. Meet some people. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Up here. I haven't got my glasses on. You don't need glasses. Aww. Hi. Aww. Zoe. Hello, Zoe. <laughs> well, don't scare her. Don't move. Zoe. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. Cool, I'll leave you for a few minutes Thank so just you. get to know her. I'll be outside Thank if you, you. need me. Oh, Thank you. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> you are beautiful. Hey. Oh. <laughs> she likes Nan more than me and I don't know what to say about it. Well, get down there and play with her. I don't know. I was expecting a big connection. There will be. I'll get up here. There will be a big connection. <laughs> Nan feels bad. You feel bad, don't you? No, it's not your fault. It's not my fault. It's not her fault. But I mean, she's just not. I don't know what to do. So it can meow <coughs> and purr. <coughs> Every new dog is carefully assessed so a home can be found that suits them better than their last. For some, there's even a test to see how they get on with cats. This way, Jim. Jim, this way. Today, it's Jim's turn to meet his first feline. Of oh, sorts. At the moment, he's not overly interested. Oh, what's that? This is Jim. He's uh, over it. <laughs> When I come over, I'll make it move a little bit. A bit scared -y. A little bit worried by that. Really? Is that okay? Sorry. What do you think? Okay. All right, bud. Okay, so it's been a little bit nervous. Yeah, yeah, A little yeah. bit of it when it moves, which if it becomes too much for the cat, the cat tells him off. Hopefully, he will 
respect that then yeah. and leave the, the cat alone. Um, is it Oi. going to be too much for a cat if yeah. the cat wants to be friends? Hopefully he'll make friends eventually. Yeah. Good boy! Who do you think, Shola? It's not my dog. I, I think she's, she's... I don't know. I'm just not getting that connection. Nanny, I don't know. Hey, it's a beautiful, aren't you? Nanny. What, darling? I don't know. Everything I do, everything I think of, I've always had to think about Jasmine. I think that this break away from each other will be quite healthy. I think we need to kind of explore what we're like alone, but me going to university and her staying is like a breakup. Oh, I feel really awful. No, if it, if if you haven't got no, that... No, because I feel like it's... I feel really guilty. No, don't feel guilty, because somebody's going to love her. in a conflict because I don't actually think you're ready ah oh, do you think that's what it is we always want it to be love at first sight but if that click's not happened I go into detective mode because I wouldn't have arranged the match if I didn't think it was right Jasmine's holding back for some reason I've got to go through and I've got to think okay is there something about the dog or something about the people changed do i need to go in there and talk to them and then see whether or not i can explain away their doubts hello <laughs> hello hello oh. <laughs> okay so i've been spying on oh, right. you oh, okay gosh. um and listening to what you're saying. saying i just want you to understand how challenging it is to get a tight match. She's absolutely perfect. She's everything I want. But I just don't feel... I don't know. I don't know what... I just don't feel like... Are you questioning her or are you questioning whether you actually do want a dog at this moment in time? I really do. For me, I was expecting that totally in love feeling that you get when you see a dog and I didn't yeah. get that. When I met my husband, we were just mates. <laughs> we were just mates. Took him in. With. Got you to <laughs> it. Comparing your husband that I would end up marrying him. Yeah. He was just a friend. Relationships sometimes take time to grow, mm. OK? And she's put out the olive branch to say, I'm up for it if yeah. you want. She's yeah. a really cracking little dog. Yeah. If I got a dog and I didn't live with you, would you take Zoe? Yeah, probably. Come on, Zoe. Would you fall in love with Zoe? But yeah, I would think so. Would you replace her with me? <laughs> you go, Nan. <laughs> <laughs> Move out, really. <laughs> oh, Hello. Well, you're not the usual person that we see coming in to find a dog. I have no. to say, so it's a well, nice surprise. Can't be too many. <laughs> looking, looking for dogs. No, so. no, no. So, what made you want to be a priest? Is this something you'd always? Pretty much. Really? Yeah. yeah, I always went to church, and I think that grew out into wanting to be ordained. Mm. I was about fourteen. I was a bit of a 14 year old. My friends, most of them have gone on to be doctors and work in IT or um, have something that pays lots of money and <laughs> gets you a company car. Catholic? No, Church of England. Church of England yeah. priest. I see a lot of my job is letting people know that they're not alone. And that's not just with all the bad things, bereavement and illness, but also in those really exciting moments of life, like when we're getting married or you know, have the baby baptised such a privilege and an honour. So why did you decide to have a dog? It, it doesn't feel like a home without a dog. Um, it's, it's not a huge house, but even a house like that can feel really empty mm, yeah. um, when you're on your own. Mm. And I think uh, dating and uh, finding relationships as a, as a priest can be quite... Uh, challenging. Challenging, that's a good word, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dating is quite a stressful idea for me. And also at some point I suspect it's not meet the parents, but, oh, you have to meet my bishop. So, have you got an idea of the sort of dog that you you like? I'm certainly thinking Staffy or maybe a Greyhound or a Lurcher. Okay. And I think my ideal wouldn't be a tiny dog. Okay. Because I reckon a tiny dog would look really stupid being walked by kind of a six and a half foot. <laughs> I was going to say, you're quite a tall, yeah. uh, tall gentleman, so nothing too small. Nothing too small. Right, see we shall see you shortly. Yeah, great. See you later. See you later. Ta-da. Ta-da.
Hang on, is this dog going to be like running around the parish? Yeah. And, oh my God. It's parish yeah. dog? Yeah. Oh, shouldn't say that. I've just blasphemed. <gasps> Have you always been a strong believer? Um, yeah. I don't know whether I am. I fifth don't believe. Yeah, um, I'm not that. I do I do believe in summer. Yeah. Did he say about size? I mean, what? He doesn't want a small dog. He doesn't want a small dog. Okay. Uh, he really likes staffies and he really likes lurchers. But I just kind of companion when you've got, you know, poor old lady who just lost her husband coming round for a cup of tea. So, do you believe in like horoscopes and? No, not not in that. Uh, I what think... about ghosts? I see him with a female lurcher. Okay. That is just the image I got, and I instantly thought Poppy. Poppy's lovely. She's a little bit shy. We're not seeing her true colours when she is here, which may be why she's not been snapped up yet, because she's really gorgeous. Miles is very calm. She would excel in that environment. Definitely, and she certainly would suit a one-person household. You know what? I think um, I think Poppy could be a really good shout. Hola. Hello. I'm waiting for it to Hello. <laughs> So we've had a good look, yeah. and we have found a dog that we hope you will like. So her name's Poppy, oh. so she's a little girl. Please. But she's kind of lurchery, scruffy lurchery oh. type, type sort yeah. of dog. We think she's under two years old. Oh, right. so, yeah, she's a little bit nervous, yeah. so when she has met people previously, it does take a little bit of time to warm up to people. Yeah. You have um, to nurture the lurcher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. how do you feel? Would, would you like to meet Poppy? I'd love to, yes, yes please. Hi, Poppy. Are you ready for your meat? Yeah. Poppy came into us as a stray. So let's go. I think she does remember experiences she's had and then that kind of impacts her behaviour. So when you first meet her, she is a bit shy. It will take time to bond with her. But once you've got that bond, like she'll give you so much love and affection. She does get really playful and really silly when you have that connection. Yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. She just needs that person that's going to make her feel safe. Very exciting. Gosh, I've been in f***ing in a very long time. Just relax. I think having a dog would be very good for my mental health, which you know, sometimes is a problem for me. I do have depression, um, which was diagnosed about four years ago. And like a lot of, well, I suppose, all single clergy, um, I live alone in quite a big house. And that can be difficult. Just wish I had someone to talk to, talk at. desire for a dog, much of a secret from her mum, Jane. What's at the top of your Christmas list every single year? Dog. What's the top of your birthday list every single year? Dog. If I keep saying no, she's going to be 18 before I know it. So now I've said yes. Do you have like a dream dog, like a perfect dog? Australian Shepherd Border Collier Spaniel. Right, so you're quite well educated. You're up there. She recognises every single breed. Even if it's a, a crossbreed, she'll know. She'll know what it is. Yeah. My speciality. It's hard, though, isn't it? Because you have to be realistic. You want to be 
for but like it's so hard to try and find yes. you know the one that is going to yes. be right I don't want to get it wrong why? no you can't no because this has been such a long time coming I want to get it right it just has to be the right match so she'll probably be a bit nervous to start with yeah but once you have that bond then she's really friendly. Yeah. Really... He's so sweet and quiet. Once he's on his own, do you think he'll come out of himself a little bit? It might take a little while. They're probably both feeling as nervous as yeah. each other. Oh, there's a good girl. Good girl, puppy. Good girl. What's this look? He's very tall when he stands up, isn't he? Mm. She's like, wow, you're a giant. <laughs> puppy. Puppy. Oh, puppy, what's this? Oh. What's that? Where's your telephone gone? Hey. Oh dear. Puppy. Oh, it's gonna take her a minute, isn't it? Yeah, she's gotta figure everything out. Meeting new people, isn't it? Puppy, puppy. Oh, oh, oh. oh dear. Hey, I can hear you. <laughs> she's still not sure about me, is she? Yeah. In your head, you know that you know it's, it will take time. But actually, your heart is mm. going. Oh, I've just been totally rejected. She can be really playful, like if you kind of like properly get engaged with her as well. Yeah. Kind of... You know you want to. Yeah, Look at you. Bobby, Bobby. Yeah. Yeah. Bobby. 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 She's kind of like, still a bit unsure, but she does want to play. Like, yeah. She's a bit like, oh, I'm not sure, but I really want to play with this. I think dogs just know when you're putting up a bit of a front, I think. Ready? Oh, puppy. Ready? Ready? They see through masks. They are not going to put up with you trying to be someone you're not. <laughs> you will need to be you. Yes, I am a priest, but I'm also Miles. Ready? 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 Yeah, I saw that little. Yes. I saw that little. Oh, good girl. Well done. Look at his face. That's a lovely smile. That is a lovely. Stop. <laughs> I said, you know, they'll yeah. all do all the work. That's very wise. Yeah. I think Poppy's going to bring silliness. And she's going to encourage me to be less uptight. Which, which will be great. Well done. <laughs> Good girl, mate. Where do you think you live, my boy? Jim's never really had a family. He's not had a home. He's got no understanding of walks or things that most dogs take for granted. He's never had. He might always be a bit nervous. Time will tell. Come with me. Yay! So, here looking for a dog. Yeah. <laughs> Lou look very nervous. <laughs> How about you, Lexi? Have you been waiting for a dog for a long time? Have you been nagging mum for a dog? She's wanted a dog ever since talk ever since you could talk well i've been saying every time i go on a walk i said um would it be nice if we had a dog with us there are breeds that we don't like which are the staffies yeah and like chihuahuas uh, jack, jack russells. russells we're very similar that, that we don't like the terrier really okay. <laughs> <laughs> hang on the, list, you love the list's getting longer <laughs> <laughs> we like a medium-sized dog okay. that likes the outdoors and then come home and, and hopefully sleep at the end of your bed. Yeah. Oh, lovely. And is it important that they sleep on your bed? Yeah, I worry at night. Okay. And it'll be nice because I, when like you're with a dog, to me, it just sends all my, my worries away. What do you worry about, sleeping on your own or...? Uh, like, something happens to you at night. It's my main worry. And then I'll just like, stay up all night worrying about that. And then I'll worry about worrying about that. So you're frightened for, in case, of, do you have an illness or anything? Oh, right, okay. She thinks that somebody might break into the house.
house at night and come and take me away. You just, just worry, worry that something just might worry happen to yeah. It's all about making sure that you feel calm, safe and secure enough to be able to go to sleep. My cat does that at the moment. Oh, she'll sleep with me. Okay. okay. Mittens is all right with dogs. Okay. So I think we, we know what you want, what you don't want. <laughs> we'll see you soon. See you later. Thank you. Mittens is going to be the sticking point. I really hope it's a dog I like. We've got a lot of terriers that are to, no to cats. We've got a lot of sight hounds. <laughs> Obviously, no to cats. Cannot live with cats. Cannot live with cats. And cannot live with cats. No. There's Quattro. But too small. I'm not going to have a toy dog. I don't want a chihuahua. I don't want to. I know, I don't want a toy breed, but. I don't want anything small either. They said they don't like toy breeds, but I was thinking, oh, Jim's quite. Possibility with he's cats. a poodle cross. Isn't he's he? a poodle. Well, no, he's a poodle because well, he's breeding, breeding dog, wasn't he? Mm, I think it was that, like an Australian Shepherd. Cat wise, they've they've ticked that he has potential to live with the cat. Oh, well, that's, really good. that's better than saying he can't live yeah, with cats. Yeah, he absolutely he has. can't. He's quite wary about new situations, and I saw him in the kennel, and he was quite worried. But apparently, he makes friends quite quickly. And I think she quite she, Lexi would probably respond really well to that, wouldn't she? Because of her anxiety herself, mm. it would bring her out of herself to say, oh, "Actually, it's okay." I hope they find something. What if they don't find anything? I'm really happy. Do you think really she's going to hear a poodle though and go? I might not say poodle. Oh, I might tell her everything away. else, and I go. But it might not be. What we have in mind? Hello. Hello. So, we've had a good look. <laughs> As suspected, there aren't that many dogs that have potential with cats. But we have come up with a dog. His name is Jim. So he came into us as an ex-breeding dog, really. The problem is that he's just nervous. So when... So are we. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, I can see. <laughs> I can see that you're both really anxious, and I yeah. think you know, Jay looks petrified. Yeah, yeah, you do. No, I'm, I just you're just worried for Lexi. Yeah, you? yeah. I think for what you you want, Lexi, for you know, a little companion who's a little bit worried and anxious himself, you'll understand why he's feeling a little bit worried, um, and you know, he'll understand that you're feeling a little bit worried, and you hopefully become best best friends. And are you allowed Would to you like us to know what dog he yeah. is? Yeah. So he is a poodle. Um, he, they, they said their favourite things about him was his curly hair. <laughs> um, so yeah, and he's he's just loving. So would you like to meet Jim? Today? Oh yes, we would love. Do you have well, any others as well as Jim? None that I think would get on quite as well with your cat. So do you want to meet Jim today? Yes. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Oh yes, Jim. Oh my fingers are crossed. Hey. She was so easy going and she had the sunniest nature. Jim. It was easy. And Lex. 
I suppose I noticed a difference when she was around six, seven years old. And I think that came with her just awareness of the world around her and her circumstances and a reliance on me. Ever since my dad left, then I started to worry about that because he wasn't there anymore. So that made me just cling on to my mum a bit more because I didn't have anyone else there like to stay with me or anything, or that sense of security. Jim! I want the best for her, and I want her to have confidence. I want her to be able to see that she's a beautiful person and a worthy person. And I'm hoping a dog will give her that sense of security and that everything is okay. See Lex, see what she's got for you to play with. Hey? It would make her so happy. Jim! Jim! I mean, that's all, as a mum, you can hope for is that your child is happy and it would just mean the world to, to both of us. Jim! Jimbo! Jim! Jim, Jim! Can I hear you with a scratch? Oh, you love scratches, don't you? Yes. Oh, there's a sponge, isn't it? Now, this is lovely. Look. Yeah. That's what she wanted. That's what she wants. Hey. Oh, yeah. Good. Mum's got a big smile. Oh, face. Jane looks relieved. You're a beautiful baby. You're so handsome. Yes, you are so handsome. Aren't you? Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. Can we adopt him? Becoming a parent is like the best ride in the park. Now you'd fit nicely on the end of... Uh... My bed. It's exciting, it's exhilarating. Is it worth the wait of 11 years? Uh, yeah. It's just the best. It's absolutely the best. Mm. Oh, oh, yes. oh, oh, he's kissing. kissing. He's kissing. Oh, he's baby. selling himself. He's like, ah. Oh. What do you reckon, Lexi? You like Love it? Him. Pay well, yourself on the back, you. girls. Pay yourself on the back. Absolutely. Did you want to take him for a walk? Uh-huh. I don't think you were going to say no to that, but you never know. They definitely doubted us, but... You know what we've been Come on. My first dog is gonna be a poodle. Who'd have thought that? <laughs> Not me. I feel like Zoe is a dog for everyone and anyone, really. But I just didn't feel like she'd make me happy like she would make a very good family dog yeah. but not a good jasmine dog we didn't decide to rehome zoe however next time i was in wood green i was like decide to rehome two dogs <laughs> babe dior come here come here hello it was yeah. instant love it was it? it was so i was like oh you're joking me already been introduced to the gram. It's, it's amazing. They're part of me now. They're my children. It's like having Shola, but without her sassy mouth, to be fair. How's uni? Oh, I don't like it. You don't? Nah. <laughs> Do you know what? I feel like I'm done better than university, so if you can suck on those eggs, I win. When I first saw Poppy come into the pen, I was in love. But sadly, she certainly wasn't 100% happy. I spent a lot of time kind of turning over in my mind whether this was right. I really liked the dog, but 
does this dog really like me? After a lot of thought, Poppy, come on. I did decide to read her Poppy, yeah. <laughs> she's been to church and she's been roundly adored by pretty much everyone she's met. Oh, good girl, nearly. Since Poppy's come home, I've been a lot less lonely. Where's that ball? Get that ball. Where's that ball? She's given me that chance, actually, to... Oh, no. See life in a much oh, a more positive way. I feel like I've won the oh. absolute dog lottery. <laughs> we didn't have to do any one way this was going. We had to have him. Yeah. That was it. Buddy. <laughs> Jim's buddy. Uh, they said that we could change his name. So you chose Buddy, didn't you? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> it's lovely to see Lex and Buddy together. They were just made for each other. She's sleeping an awful lot better with Buddy at the end of her bed. And our cat at the top of the bed. I can't believe what I was missing. This years. How mean was I? Very mean. So sorry. Next time, Zoe the Beagle is the centre of attention. I really want to take her home. <laughs> A stray lurcher has second thoughts. Oh. Not doing second thoughts, but I'm feeling. And one resident catches the eye of a gold medalist. She is a radiation rich <gasps> Find every episode of this and previous series of The Dog House sitting and staying on all four, waiting for you like a very good boy. And you'll also find the extraordinary tale of Lucy, the chimp raised thinking she was human and then returned to the wild. But back to tonight, and Taskmaster is next.